Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today I thought we would do something a little different. I um, thought we would go over some magazine pages that you could use for your collage work. So if you're interested in collage, collaging, um, surreal collaging or whatever, if you're a Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge Gal, uh, some of these may come in handy um, for you, but I thought I'd just go over some pages that I cut out of magazines today. I'm going to set them aside. I'm finding my stacks of magazines are just getting too big, so I'm going through and I'm picking out some items, and then I'm going, I'll fussy cut them. Um, not with you today, obviously. I'll fussy cut them on my own. And then I'll set them aside in a bin. And then I just have to figure out how I'm going to label them. Um, so I'm not just rummaging through papers constantly. So I'd love to have you stick around. And maybe some little ideas that I come up with will help you. So this page here, um, I tore out because I'm interested in the hand, okay? Um, nothing else. I'll, I'll be fussy cutting this hand out, and then I can use that in some, some other collage. So that's one. This page here, uh, this is a, this was a center fold page here um, where her foot is the little sexy centerfold right there. So I had to take both pages. But this, I'm going to be cutting her out, and this would be fun to use in some sort of um, surreal collage. That one there. This one here, again, I'm looking at hands and arms, okay? Um, so I'll be cutting out this this hand here, all right, and then I'll be cutting out this hand here. Again, this is another great hand um, image that you could use. So I'll, I would be cutting out, for now, I would be just cutting this section out here, all right. I'd keep this whole section here, okay, and then just do away with the top. The other thing I would do is I would probably cut her eyes out where I could use her eyes in another sort of collage. Um, this one here with the treadmill, I'm going to meticulously cut him out, all right? Um, and normally I, I would never cut these images out. I would just hang on to them. But I think... Um, you know, when you cut something out and you start working on a collage, you can figure out what size that you need. But I thought he would be really cool uh, to use either, you know, pushing a, a stone ledge or a car or I don't know, something. So I'll be, I'll be cutting him out. So you want to look for images instead of the whole image, something that you can take from the illustration or photo. Um, here's a couple bottles of wine. I will be taking both of these and cutting these out because you can do, you could do a lot there. Um, this image here, I'm going to be cutting this gentleman out. And again, he would work really well in some collages that I'm, I'm already thinking of in my head. Um, but I'll be cutting him out. These here, uh, I thought this, just this square, I'll be cutting this square out. That would be, that might come in useful down the road for something. Uh, this image here, I already have an idea of what I'd like to do with this. Um, but I'll be cutting that out. And then on this side here, there's some little tiny figures. And this would be cool. I'll cut them out in unison. And they would be cool to use in a part of a collage. Her definitely, um, I, I might cut the whole square out here, but my intentions are just to use this figure right here. Um, here is a Vermeer. Um, 
again, I'll cut out this whole square and then down the road, I could either cut her out. You know, there's a lot of things that you could do with this. Um, and there's nothing. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing on the other side, but that will be a nice picture. Again, here is another wine bottle I will cut out. Um, jewelry. I like to cut jewelry out because there's a lot of things that you can do with it. This, I will just, I'm not going to cut this whole thing out straight away. I will just cut this in half, keep this on the side. And even this here, you could do something funky with that item there. This here, all these cigars, um, Again, I will cut half of this out, and then as I use each cigar, I will just cut the individual cigar out. I grabbed this page because of the small images, these small little bottles of wine, um, the small Statue of Liberty. Here's a small um, oh, surfboard. This is a surfboard. So this page I would just keep intact or I would just square these out and put them in a, a little um, envelope with this says minis. This overall page here is really good. Um, you could do a lot in collaging a surreal image with these. And then what I would do is if I wanted to insert anything, I would just make a invisible line and then I would tuck the image in and have it coming up and out. So that would that would be a page obviously that I would look at. Here's another one um, with hands. All right. This I wouldn't use up here because the name uh, is crossing it over into an in, in it's obscuring the image. But these hands down here would be really cool to use. So you, I guess you just kind of have to look, um, look a little bit outside the box. This here is obviously an advertisement. There was a big icebreaker here, but this would be a really cool image to use. I actually have two of these because um, you never know when you're going to want to make something different. Again, jewelry, these would be fun to use in some sort of collage. Uh, this gal here, um, I would take, I would cut her head off and I would use the image of her. Okay. I would do away with the staircase, um, and use this dress image. This page here caught my eye because of this umbrella. And I immediately, when I saw this, I immediately thought of, um, may possibly a ballerina, and this would be part of her tutu, but this would be a really cool dress to use. Um, and this lampshade up here as well. You could do something really fun with that. This here I cut out because I like these shades. These would be a good backdrop for something when you're collaging. Again, with this one. Uh, this would, the whole uh, image here would make a nice backdrop, or you could just use this globe. You could cut all of this out and just use the pillars. So this you could use in many different ways. This lamp, I thought this would be really cool to do some sort of collage with that. And these are all big collages. They would go on uh, probably a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbooking paper, and then I would collage around it. This ad had this gale in all different positions. Um, and again, you could cut her out and use her in your collage work um, in a lot of different ways. I like this bed, the image of the bed and the comforter. So I could, you could use that in a collage. Here are some more blinds. Okay. Um, so I cut both of these. I ripped both of these pages out 
and these would be really cool to use. And then uh, another necklace. And um, this would be quite easy to cut out. And it would be a lot of fun to use that in a collage. So I thought, um, and this was another page that I cut out here with these funky watches. And I thought that we could have some fun and, and give it a go and see. I have an idea for these, and I just thought I would... Um, see what we could what we could do with these so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get these watches cut out and we will go from there and i'm all you know, some of my collages, I get these ideas in my head. Most of the time, probably 85% of the time, I can execute what I'm thinking. And they come out just fine. Other times, um, I have something pictured in my mind. And I just can't, I can't bring it to my reality not that any of any of these are realistic but just what i have going on in my my brain and when i'm not working um, on camera it's a little bit easier because i don't feel like i'm under pressure to get it right and if I you know don't do something um, you know where it doesn't work out then it's it's not too bad and I will say I guess if things you know don't work out on camera um, then that's okay too because you can see that you can always go for a different idea and try something new. And the one thing that I do like about um, the surreal collaging is that your, your dimensions, your shapes, your sizes... They, they don't have to be perfect. All right, so we have our two watch bands. And I think I will do the pink first. And I have this, and again, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. We're just going to play and have a go. I might be able to bring this down a little bit now so you can... Whoops, sorry about that. So you can see a little bit better what I have here. Okay. I don't like to do this on camera or while it's running, but okay. So I have this fine old chap right here and I have this set of legs. All right. So I want to get these cut out. And I have an idea to make this. I'm also going to have to, I think, create this on a background piece of paper. Um, because it is larger, I thought maybe I might create it on a 12 by 12 paper. And then what I can do is I can use it in my personal scrapbooking book. Or I can start a book, an album of collage art. But I thought it would be kind of fun to use it as a scrapbooking. Um, 
So this part here, I had the idea, I'd like to make this into a dress, okay? So I'm going to have to cut this out or some sort of garment. Now, if I was using my X-Acto knife, which I think I'm going to do, I can get better, better lines and I can actually see what I'm doing. Sometimes I just can't see. when I'm working with a um, pair of scissors. And the one thing that you have to remember is when you're working with magazine images and you're using an X-Acto knife, you have to be careful that you don't, you first of all, your knife has to be sharp, otherwise your paper will just rip and tear. Um, but you just want to be sure that on older paper, you know, more vintage style, I would use scissors because that is pretty fragile. All right. So I'm going to save these bands here because down the road, you never know. They may come in handy for some other collage that I may need to use them. So I hope everybody is doing some sort of art and you're enjoying yourself. Okay, so we have this here and my thought process on making a fun collage is having this come up like this out because this is her this will be her garment his garment and then this guy I have to cut out and um I'm going to do I'm going to take him to his belt, all right? I don't know if I'll be needing that. But I don't want to cut too far up just yet. We need his hat. And this is either going to work or it's not going to work. I think what I'm going to do, I have this piece of scrapbook paper here. Um, I'll open up my camera again in a minute. See, I want to use this, and I may have to cut this down a little bit. I want this to slide up through. I guess I really like collage work because it challenges my mind a little bit more um, because of all the little nips and tucks and things, how you have to fit things in. Your mind is always thinking. And I don't know if I just want to, I don't really want to just have him sitting on top there. I'm not crazy about this paper, so I'm going to turn it over. Um, I'd really like this to come up a little bit. And I just have to. There, maybe something like that. I'm going to take a little bit more off of this side so I can maybe move him over a little bit. Okay. 
Watch, I'm going to cut so much of this off that I'm not going to. I just want to get him over a little bit more here. There, maybe like that. And then if I have him there like that, I can have the legs down here like this. And again, I like to... I want to add, I'm going to be adding more to this. I just have to stop and think here. Now, this is where, where I showed you earlier. Um, I'm just looking over here in my pile. That umbrella that I said might be really cool. This here, to act as a part of a dress so I want to cut I'm going to cut this out here and this one has a little bit more detail to it this here so I'm going to cut this out and I'll be right back there you can see I have this cut out and I do like that there. I'm going to scrap him because this isn't the look that I want to achieve. So it kind of looks like he's just hanging over the, the top side. And he really isn't being part of the overall body of the collage. So he's going to be set aside and I'll use him down the road. Now I have this image here, which I was going to use on the... Um, blue wristband. So I think I'm just going to continue here and I'm going to cut her out. And again, I'm not sure how it's going to all fit together, but we will see. And I think she might work out a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right here where I want this part of her white and pink dresser showing. And if I know that she's going to work, if she needs any little bit of fine tuning, I can do that after I know the dimensions. Now, I ran her off at four by six, okay? Um, sometimes I'm just not quite sure what size I should be running some of these digitals off at. And you just have to take your guess at it. And I'm keeping the pink and white on her bust area here just because it goes with the watch. So that's much better, okay? See how that can fit right in like that? Um, and I think maybe what I might, not gonna do it yet. Um, I do wanna trim a little bit of this off where it shows the pink. And I'm almost tempted um, to take that center notch off. But if I do that, I wanna make sure I replace it with something else. I'm just cleaning this watch up a little bit here. I want the stem to stay. Okay. So we would have this. We have this for her. I can bring this up a little bit more. All right. Is that in? Do I, have, I think we have her all in here. And then she is going to pop right behind here. I ran two images off because she's going to need some arms. 
So I ran this image off here. These are five by seven. And I ran this image off here again, which is five by seven. And I think um, the five by seven worked out great. I did run them off an eight and a half by 10. This one I started and it just, it didn't work. So I <clears throat> went back and I did five by seven. And then I cut this arm out of the gal here right here I cut her arm out and then I went ahead and I cut out the arm of this gal all right so <clears throat> this is my thought um, I think I might want to get get her down I am going to leave her on this white paper because I can because I can so she's going to come down like this. All right. And then I'm going to get it laid out. And then when I get it, when I get it all done, I will come back. I'm going to take a break. Get it all glued down. And then come back. So she's going to go in. Her arm is going to go in just like this and across across her skirt okay so it will be like this this arm I thought would be fun to be in here and have it come down just like that all right and I think what makes this fun is the two different colored gloves because really who would wear two different colored gloves out now <clears throat> I want to get something. I want her to be holding on to something up here. And I want, I can even bring her arm in a little bit. Okay. Um, and I want to change her face a little bit. I mean, she has beautiful eyes, but I don't want to, I don't want to keep it just plain. Now I found this bird because my initial thought was to have a wing come out from here. But I like it like this, and I'm going to tuck this right back here like this, right behind her, okay? And she is going to have these wings, whoops, just like this, okay? losing her dress isn't she so you can see these collages do take a bit of patience a bit of time but i think they are all i think they're all well for well worth it i just think they're so much fun to create okay so we have her wings they'll be placed there um i'm gonna bring her arm down just a little bit like this and then out of i grabbed my vintage Sears catalog and I have this old transistor radio that I thought would be fun. Um, I have to notch this out a little bit more and I want the transistor radio. I want her to be holding that. I, you're going to see where I'm going to notch it and that's going to tuck up in there a little bit further. So she's going to be bebopping along with her radio we can bring her arm down a little bit more like that. And then for her eyes, um, I found this gentleman, again, in the Sears catalog. And I'm taking his eyes and his hat, and we are going to put them on her just like this, okay? And that's going to change the entire effect of her, of her face. So that's what we have so far, and I'm going to get, I don't foresee anything else going underneath her. At this point, I at least want to get um, this glued down, the, this glued down in all of this. I don't know if we'll put something underneath her skirt or not, but I'm going to step away, I'm going to get this glued down, and I'll be back. So I have her all glued together and I did find a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper that I want to use in my own personal 
um, album. So she's all glued together and I have another, I'm going to have some, I have a couple things over here. I'm going to add as a final touch. So I'm just going to get her glued down on my page. Okay. Because I'm going to have to put, um, come on, you son of a gun. I'm going to have to make sure that this is down uh, when I put my other little items on. Uh, now, let's see. I'm not going to glue that down just yet, that one little section. Um, I have to be careful of her arm because I'm going to do a little slide inside. And I will say that these collages, I mean, if you want a good project to do and you want to test yourself, do a collage such as this because it does take a while. It's something that you aren't going to, um, it's not going to happen in a half hour or it's going, these take a little bit of time and thought. That's not glued down yet. Don't want to glue that down yet. outside here glued okay now she's down pretty well and then what I'll do is I'll let her dry and then I'll come back to her and finish gluing her down and then I'll put a couple photos or whatever um, maybe a photo and some journaling on this so if you remember I had this little guy right here and I was going to use him, but then I said, well, no, he doesn't really fit. Well, I found a place for him. And I'm going to cut his hand out right here. Um, I don't want him holding his hat. I want him holding something else. And I wanted a title for my page. I just didn't want to... You know me, I either have a story or a title. And I'm going to have him right up on here. He's going to be right on top of her transistor radio, okay? Now, he can be holding on to that, which he looks just fine. He's kind of bebopping along with her. Um, but... What I did was I went and I found some little tiny record albums in one of my 1960 magazines and I cut them out and I'm actually going to have him holding on to a record album right there, okay? And we're going to get this glued down. Just like that. So he's holding on to that. And I want to get him get him down. And I'm going to finish gluing. her hand down. She's holding on to that transistor radio. And I have to be careful because this paper out of the Sears catalog is so delicate and old. I don't want to tear it or rip it now. That would not be good. There. So he has his monkeys record album 
there. And then she is just coming back from a day out with all of her records that she just purchased at the record store. So we have Sergio Mendez, Don Gibson. I'm going to get these. Let's get Sergio down right here. We got Don Gibson. And we have Paul Anka. There's a name from the past. And she's coming home with all her new records. So I'm titling this page here. There we go. This collage here is going to be titled The Music Man. And he is the music man. So I just think this page is a lot of fun. It was a little bit, as you can see, if you braved your way through to the very end. I think it's a really fun collage. I think there's a lot of fun elements in it. And I encourage everybody to just sit down when you have nothing to do. And if you're interested in collaging like this, just get your magazines out pull magazine papers, get your digital images, anything you can find. And once you start, you're not going to want to stop. One thing will lead to another. And then the next thing you know, you'll have a fun, fun collage such as this for either your scrapbooking pages or if it's smaller, your junk journal pages. And if you just want to create an album with all collage art, that would be magnificent. But it is a lot of fun. and. Um, yeah, it's just let your imagination run wild. So I want to thank everybody for joining in today. I really appreciate it. Love to have you give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about, you know, collage art. If you like to participate in it, if you participate in any collage challenges other than Marguerite Miller's, um, if you are um, just taking an interest in it, just getting started in it. I encourage everybody to try at least once. So again, I want to thank everybody for joining in and I will see you down the road. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.